Vegas probably has more than its share of unusual jobs. Probably one of the most unusual, though, is in the medical field. It's body part replication done with a special machine, and few cities have one. Eyewitness News stopped by Nevada Imaging Centers to meet the man behind the models. As a stereolithographer, Timothy Mueller specializes in making body parts, bones, and organs. He creates three-dimensional, highly precise replicas using a computer-controlled laser system. The device builds the model layer by layer. And I remake that pathology or that body part for our referring physicians. I've done a tremendous amount of baby skulls, uh, spines, done some hips, knees. Anything that can be x-rayed with a CAT scan, Mueller can recreate with his computers. This CAT scan is of a little girl who was in a horseback riding accident. Mueller created a replica of her brain for surgeons to examine. And there's actually a few that actually do practice surgeries before they put the patient in, into the operating room. It, it can cut the, the time of the surgery, and that's obviously much safer for the patient. Another common use of the models is to examine possible deformities in the skulls of babies. The other thing that's big is a great communication tool for the doctor to sit down, for example, with a, a skull of a child and show the parents that this is your child, this is where the problem's at, this is what we're going to do, this is how we're going to fix it. Mueller's most unusual request so far was to duplicate the brain of a murderer for neurologists to study. And, Gary, the construction process takes about five hours. This is the skull of a two-month-old. That's amazing. So, mm -hmm. so this is a replica, though. The, the baby didn't die. No, this is not uh, forensic. Uh, this is the great part, actually, because the replica enabled doctors to study her problem, which is hydrocephalus, without taking her into surgery wow. or perhaps prior to that. Wow. Pretty amazing, it huh? It is. It's phenomenal. Thanks, Gary. All right. Well, that's it.